It's a f timeline thing. The f Your ears are so pointy. Oh, this is the new Number one, Scotty. Four and one half Vulcans to beam down. Four and one. Energized. <laughs> hey there, everyone. I am back in my Starfleet uniform because San Diego Comic Con has dropped like three different trailers or first looks or whatever. And I am just so excited for that because that means we're gonna be eating good again, even if Lower Decks is in its last season. That is a travesty, basically. I do not know why we're canceling Lower Decks. It's one of the best new track. For that matter, Prodigy should continue on. Like Prodigy season two was one of the best seasons of new track ever anyway that won't be a rant so this is going to be split up in several sections because i'm going to put it all into one video and that's why it's all just called star trek here so without further ado let's get into the first one which is the star trek lower decks season 5 teaser trailer it is two minutes long let's take a look For the oh cerritos years, they have thrilled us with their adventures Amazed us with their wow, it's using inspired us with their courage. Very, very old style movie. Has journeyed beyond 90s movie. Her name has become legend. Her crew, the finest ever. We're not talking about the Cerritos, aren't we? We have traveled with them from one corner of the galaxy. I love the narrator. They have been our guides, our protectors. And our friends. Lower decks, lower decks, lower decks, lower decks. Now you are invited to join them for one mm. last adventure. So we are talking about the Cerritos. Oh, is he talking about us? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're like meta. Uh, we're going meta. Important. Yeah, right. This is our last mission. Yeah, right. We're not done voyaging. We aren't. No, no way, man. We've hardly even cracked one quadrant yet. Come on, Loims. Mariner, Mariner. Where are we going? <laughs> Oh, God, party people, what's the dish? Man, another quantum fissure. This is like the third one that's mine. Oh, my God, is this a timeline thing? <laughs> it's a fucking timeline thing. Up, Cerritos? This is Captain Becky Freeman. The fuck? We have some alternate timeline shit happening. Most scarce society throwing out all their jewels and crap. What a party. Everything. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck was that? You fraternize with Starfleet humans? Wow, was that your girlfriend? Blue, what crawled up her boob window and died? Anyway, what are we drinking? Her boob window. First test. The right of unending pain. Oh, unending pain. Ah, this is gonna be Klingon as hell. <laughs> Okay, I mean that was that was plain pure lower deck shit shenanigans and that was just so freaking exciting. I'm so excited to see what happens in lower decks. Also, I think there was a point here. In the end also, lower decks as a series will come to an end because it's a lower deck series and they're slowly getting up their rank. So, I am hoping that there's like a way forward like into the future something not lower decks but still the same characters but okay i i don't know whether that's gonna be a season-long thing that there's an alternate timeline thing mm, interesting very you know prodigy-ish mm, okay i'm excited and i want i want more and i am also sad already anyway next up is star trek section 31 teaser trailer it is one minute 46 seconds and isn't this gonna be like like a, a movie type thing it's not gonna be a series right or maybe it's like a mini series something in between a series and a movie right anyway let's get into it okay ladies now let's get information and what's the timeline for this Okay. Only be loyal to duty. 
thus does the Empire. Is this the Mary Universe? Thus. This is young Michelle Yeoh, I guess. Okay, young Michelle Yo. Philippa Giorgio. You're a tyrant who murdered her own people by the millions. Okay. The past always catches up with you. <laughs> You're section 31. Wasn't she with section 31 already? Division. Spy work. Starfleet is here to make sure no one commits murder. What a cute uh. idea. They do the dirty work. It's gonna be bumpy and bad. Okay, it looks action-y as hell. We can't trust you with our lives, but here we go. Does he have Somebody's optic to keep it stuff lightly. like what? Jordy? Okay. We didn't get much from that. I do not know the timeline of this. But I'm guessing Strange New Worlds timeline, right? And at that point, Section 31 had been decimated by control. Like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, like, where we are and it just looks like one of like i mean let's see it's michelle yo so it's gonna be like action and funny i you know i'm 50 50 with the whole you know mirror universe thing but it's always i guess fun to see it's not to me it's not like the most star trek of things but it is gonna be interesting to watch yeah that's that's my thoughts for section 31 what did you guys think okay now last one is the star trek strange new world's first look and it's five minutes long. And if it's first look, I'm guessing it's like we're going to get scenes. It's not just a, a trailer. Anyway, let's see. I was able to jury rig the Kirkovian serum that turned human Spock back into a Vulcan. Should be able to do the same for us. Only in reverse. Oh. The sensory change. Okay. Is the feeling is instantaneous. They're going to be Vulcans? The sensation until you are acclimated, which should not take long. Physical then they're going to be super after. emotional, right? Just a deep breath. By the time you reach three, it should be over. One. They won't have any two, of the Vulcan discipline. Three. Oh. 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 oh, nothing happened to Pelia. My emotions feel overwhelming. Oh, overwhelming. Okay, yep, yep. Aren't they gonna be like explosively? They're gonna be Romulans, basically. You don't feel anything? No. And to be honest, I'm a little jealous. That looks like fun. <laughs> Something with Belia. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what happened to the hair? <laughs> My perception has increased. Everything I once found dull now seems to be. Fascinated. Fascinating. Fascinating. I wonder if the serum did not work on you because you're lanthanite. Honestly, I had the same problem with LSD in the 1960s LSD. and the 1990s and last July. Last July. <laughs> Since Pelia cannot become Vulcan, I can cover her part of the mission. I suppose I can Okay, it's gonna be one of those shenanigans things with Vulcan should be more Vulcans. Than enough down there. Four and one half. Spock is only half Vulcan, whereas the four of us are fully Vulcan. Is that not why are they Spock? Why are they feel acting logically? Oh my god, they're looking down at him. <laughs> Indeed. It is. Okay. Or oh, are we gonna go through a like a colinar or whatever battle session? What's gonna happen here? <laughs> Just laughing.
<laughs> Why is it so hot? <laughs> Pointy. Oh, this is the new Number one, Scotty. Four and one half Vulcans to beam down. Four and one half. Energized. <laughs> Status report. Mitchell, they've entered the structure. That was fast. All areas inside the structure. Oh, they're going to be super efficient. It will likely take a few hours. There's a very complex. Radiation normal. What? Already? Enterprise. The energy system is now repaired. <laughs> All atomic levels are nominal. The energy source is functioning perfectly. That's what happens when you, you've got said. Vulcans. Well, yeah. They're making me look bad. We have completed the mission. You may return us to Enterprise. Hmm. Thought this would be a bit more exciting. <laughs> Anticlimactic. Whatever. Hello, shore leave. Something happened. Some shenanigans. I haven't even broken into a sweat. Well, come back. I believe we will still be able to reach Permanti 3 within expected travel parameters. I'm almost disappointed not to be able to take further advantage of my temporary Vulcan abilities. Agreed. My communication style has never been so efficient. efficient. How was the mission for you, Mr. Spock? Ironic. Because I was constantly reminded that I was logically the least Vulcan member present. <laughs> Don't worry. That's about to change. <laughs> the eyebrows, my god. Oh my god, it's not gonna happen. <gasps> oh shit, they're gonna get stuck that way. They're gonna get hmm. stuck as Vulcans. There's chapel. What was that sub vocalization? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> For reasons unknown, the Kharkovian serum does not appear to be working. It appears that we will remain Vulcans indefinitely. <laughs> I feel for Spock. Was that the five minutes? Oh, that was five minutes. Okay, I mean, all... <laughs> okay, that was really fun. Like, that's pure Strange New Worlds, right? It is funny, colorful, um, lighthearted. But, but... And this is, again, a very Strange New Worlds thing. The tricky part of me is thinking, why... Are they being logical as like Vulcans? Like Vulcan, the culture, the the discipline of logic is something built in. Otherwise, they're just raging maniacs. They're basically Romulans if they're not with the Vulcan logic. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, all fun and games. I wonder if there was like an intervening thing where like maybe... Spock mind melded them and like gave like some logic bounce. I don't know. But yeah. So funny, exciting. I'm very excited to see what happens. At the same time, like, what is happening? <laughs> but yeah, so those were those. I am most excited about Lower Decks and then Strange New Worlds. And then section 31 is I because I don't know what to expect there. Like I need more details for that. Michelle Yeoh herself is not the main draw for me. I want more Star Trek. So let's see what happens with Michelle Yeoh. What did you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Please like and subscribe. Join me Discord, support me Patreon. And I'll see you next time. Somebody's opinion.